Hi, I'm Nick. And I'm Dom. And welcome to Wildcat Weekly. Happy New Year! 2020 is finally over and we are now in 2021 and with that comes a lot of brand new changes. We're back at the school again and to celebrate we took an extra week off to make some quality segments in weekly this week. So enjoy some segments. So this is my sister and I'm gonna ask her the three brain teasers because she claims that she's so smart. I am smart. No. We're gonna we're gonna find out right now. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay. Mike is a butcher. Mm -hmm. He's five ten. Mm -hmm. What does he weigh? Meat. <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> Uh, it's like college education, maybe. No, it doesn't count. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Number two. Number two. Uh-huh. There's a farmer, mm -hmm. and he has seven, 17 sheep. Good. All but nine die. How many does he have left? All but nine? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, last one. Smarty Pants, since you just... Nine. In a year, there are 12 months. In seven months, there are 31 days. Mm -hmm. How many months have 28 days? Are you ready for my final answer? Yes, I am. All of them. I quit. <laughs> come on, come back. Because I'm going to prove that you're not as smart as everyone thinks you are. <laughs> Just because you got three little brain. No, no, no. All right. Okay. Billy's mother had five kids. Mm -hmm. The first one was named Lala. Mm -hmm. The second one was named Lily. Mm -hmm. The third one was named Lily. Mm -hmm. The fourth one, can't count, was named Lolo. Yes. What was the fifth one's name? Billy. <laughs> She'll be here all day, I guess, <laughs> because you just want to keep proving that you're smart. Mm -hmm. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. What travels faster, heat or cold? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is a riddle. Yep. So, do they travel at the same speed? No. <laughs> is that your final answer? You know, it's your final answer. That's what she gets. That's what she gets. You know what? Because I got you. <laughs> ready, ready? She's not ready for this. She's not ready. He travels faster because you can catch a cold. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. You're so corny. <laughs> <laughs> and that concludes this episode of Brain Tingers with my sister. Last Sunday, history was made as the Browns won their first playoff game. So enjoy some fun Brown segments. <laughs>
everyone. So John and Chris made a brown segment, so they're gonna um, show you it now. Okay, bye. Anyway, as Matt, you were saying, we're making a brown segment. Why, why I'm making a brown segment, I, 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 I play tennis. The clearly superior sport, by the way, but. I can confirm. Uh, 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 okay. But as we were saying before, the Cleveland Browns have beaten the Pittsburgh Steelers to advance in the NFL playoffs to the divisional round. It was their first playoff win since 1994, and with 1994, it's a wild ride. Um, let's take a look at some other things that happened in 1994. Playing right now is Ace of Bases' The Sign, which was the number one song in 1994. Other pop culture references in 1994. The top movie was Forrest Gump, which came out on July 6th of 1994. And fun fact, um, the average burger cost 91 cents in 1994. And today the average burger costs $2.65. Imagine the money I could have saved. Alrighty, but we're here to watch the Browns. So Chris and I have brought back Mayfield Sports Commentary. Let's go see it. Okay, so they're like, they threw the ball, the ball and he gave it to the someone else. Running. He's throwing, okay, okay. he's throwing. Oh, oh my God, wow. Baker under center at the 50. Fake to the running back, reverse to Odell. Odell gets hit in the backfield, catches a block. The 30, the 20, the 10. Odell Beckham for six points. Browns lead 48-35. What a run by number 13. As a Steelers fan, this is very difficult to watch. Baker Mayfield, Miles Garrett. And there's Ben Roethlisberger sitting there looking out into the abyss, wondering if this is it. This is very hard as a Steelers fan to see. It's tough to see. It's terrible. It's awful. All right, you got a little three level formation. Big Ben. Back up the pocket. Drew in the field. Big Ben. Back up my second. Even though the Browns made history, making the playoffs for the first time since 2002, I'm still wearing a Ravens hoodie. And that's because the only joke worse than the Browns franchise is Johnny's jokes. What's up everybody? It's officially 2021 and I hope you know what that means. We're going to be going around telling people a whole bunch of New Year's jokes. New season, new jokes, same Johnny. Let's get to it. We're going to tell our first joke. Go knock on the door. Hello, Reed. Would you like to hear a joke? Absolutely. What's a cow's favorite holiday? I don't know. What is it? New Year's Eve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Thank you. I'm a master joke teller. Don't worry. I'm sure you are. Bye, Reed. Have a good day. You too. We're at our second house. Don't knock. You will wait. Hi, Ben. Would you like to hear a joke? Sure. What's the best place to go on New Year's Eve to practice math? I have no idea. Times Square. <laughs> These, I told you these jokes were funnier. They so, are. I know. So, have a good day. You too. Okay, we are at our third house. Oh. Hello, Lana. Would you like to hear a joke? Sure. Why do you need a jeweler on New Year's Eve? Why? To ring in the new year. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, everyone, we are at Bogue's house. He will not open the door for me, so we're gonna FaceTime him instead.
Hi, Boke, you want to hear a joke? <laughs> is this the first FaceTime joke ever for Wildcat Weekly? This is the first FaceTime joke, and guess what? You get to be the person receiving the joke. This, this is big time. I didn't realize how important I was. Yeah, you're a big shot. All right. Are you ready? All right, go ahead. What happened to the man who stole a calendar on New Year's Eve? I have no idea. He got 12 months. Get out of here. Get off, get off my lawn. I can hear him in the house. He's right there. <laughs> there are the dogs. There's the dogs. Bye, Vogue. Alrighty, everyone. That's been it for this episode of Johnny's Jokes, but we have a whole year of new jokes to come. So we will see you later. Guys, this week for the Netflix movie reviews, it's actually a movie that's not on Netflix. It's on HBO, and it's also in theaters right now. It's Wonder Woman 1984, which is a sequel to the first Wonder Woman. And it's just amazing. Like, it has great color, great graphics, great storytelling, and amazing plots with two amazing villains that, that are just great. And I think you all love it. So it's in theaters right now, so go check it out. And I'm going to give it a 4 to 5. Because I liked it a little bit less than I liked the first movie. But overall, it's just spot on. So you have to go see it right now. Hi, guys. Hello. So, today, we're going to be making a Valentine's Day cupcake. And yes, I know it's January, but it's never too early for Valentine's Day, okay? So, we're going to... Okay. <laughs> On that note, okay, so the first step, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory on how to make a box um, cupcake mix, um, because it tells you on the back. So you guys can make this at home. So, you know, go to Target, get yourself the Box Funfetti Valentine's Day. Okay, ready? Now, you have to do this carefully. I'm going to carefully pour in the mix. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, I mean, okay, yeah, you're going to want to take this out of the box and then pour it in. <laughs> and a little tip when cracking your egg. It's important not to get the shell in your eggs, which I didn't just do. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's okay. A little shell won't hurt anyone, will it? <laughs> Whisk. This is a great way to get an arm workout in, you know, if you're trying to get those gains, those summer gains. I recommend whisking cupcake batter. And oh, okay, preheat the oven. What you're supposed to do before you do this is preheat the oven to 350. But we forgot to do that, so don't make that mistake. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is um I recommend an ice cream scooper, but if you have a spoon, that'll do. You're just gonna spoon your um batter. your batter into your liners. Both, if you're seeing this, there might be some cupcakes at your house. Yeah. Um, but maybe not because you might eat them all. The oven's ready. Um, once you get all your cupcakes filled, and this is the best part, my favorite part, you can lick the spoon. Now we're gonna frost them all and we will get back to you. Here are the finished cupcakes. <laughs> as you can see, mine don't look. These as, are mine. <laughs> my, mine don't look as. Uh, These are his. Pleasant. He's a professional baker, that's why they look like that. Okay, now the video is not complete. We don't taste our masterpiece creations. Oh, look at how pretty. Now they got the heart sprinkles. Mm-hmm. Very good. We hope you guys enjoyed um our baking adventure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Stop! laughs>
I'm Nick. And I'm Dom. And we'll see you Browns fans in another 18 years for your third playoff appearance. And this has been Wildcat Weekly.